In this lesson, I'm going to show you about image placeholders, <coughs> as well as exporting CSS styles. Now, image placeholders, <coughs> let's first deal with those. Let's go into our design we created um, in the past few lessons. Remember the nature enthusiast, because you know you are the nature enthusiast. Interesting picture, huh? Lava and lightning at the same time. Rare. All right. <clears throat> so let's bring up our uh, our panels. Now there is something I did actually that I in between the last lesson and this. If you noticed, well actually if you let's t F4 again so you see this. I narrowed the um, so the lettering was a little bit indented. Um, if you remember, the, the lettering started, you might not have noticed, at the very edge here and ended at the very edge over here. So all I did to make it a little bit more, give it a little more breathing room on the sides, very simple. If you remember, that was the content style and tag we created. So I went to content here in the CSS styles panel. I hit the edit button. And... <clears throat> under box margin I increased the left margin and the right margin to allow for that space and it's as simple as that <clears throat> apply okay and we're all set alright <clears throat> inserting placeholders now sometimes we are designing not the entire site from start to finish. Maybe we're going to hand it off to someone to actually insert the pictures or the text, but we are creating the major layout areas, and this is basically the, the area we want this to be in, the area we want that to be in, here's where the picture would go. So, what you can do, <clears throat> for instance, let's say right after the picture, <clears throat> Actually, let's make it a little more realistic. After the end of content, we want another picture. So, <clears throat> we can go insert, image objects, image placeholder. Now, we will name it, um, picture 2. How about that? Now, how big do you want <coughs> that section for picture two? Well, let's leave the default and see what it does. Ah, I forgot. All has to be together in picture two. No spaces. But down here we can put spaces. Um, picture of waterfall, something like that. All right. Ah, see, it automatically put it at the top here. But we can take this placeholder <coughs> and move it down to the bottom here in this section. <coughs> like so. <coughs> now the properties of that placeholder we can look at. And now, maybe <coughs> we decided that that's a little too small, right, for a picture. So we would do width, <coughs> let's try 250, and then height, maybe 150. See, and it expanded the content section and puts in um, the width and the height there. And maybe we want a second picture there. So wherever the cursor is, it'll insert a placeholder. And it's basically <coughs> you planning ahead the layout, and someone else could come behind you. Or later, maybe you yourself are going to come behind and insert a picture there. So maybe this would be picture two. I'm sorry, we already did picture two. Picture three. Um, And 
maybe we'd call this um, road or whatever, whatever the, whatever you want. And maybe I want this the same size, so we can make it 250 by 150. like so. And as we expand it, <coughs> those measurements expand. So, let's see. How wide do we need to get? Oops, made it too wide. That looks about right. <coughs> Might be able to go 281. Maybe this one needs to be 282. And this one can be 282. We probably can go 283. All right, that looks about right. <coughs> now that's just an image placeholder that basically you're stating I want a picture here that's this by this. So later you could go back without having to figure out exactly how wide, how tall you want that section to be. Or it could be for text. We might have put in a whole large box for this content section and put, you know, major text about lava field, you know, or whatever. This by this. That way you know you can go back. Same with the header. You can insert a placeholder there, which basically you just name and you say how, how big that section, what you want there. So, <clears throat> It's used a lot when you're handing it off for another party to insert the actual data or pictures or you yourself are going to come back and do it on your own. So that's a little bit about image placeholders. And then in the next lesson, we'll learn about exporting CSS styles.